Hey, what's up you guys and welcome back to the channel. Today, you guys are in for a real treat. We are in one of the newest gated communities in Granite Bay. This community just opened up this past weekend and it features five different floor plans, all single stories, all sitting on one acre lots. These homes range from 3,700 square feet all the way up to 5,100 square feet. Not to mention, it's zoned to one of the top rated school districts in all of the Sacramento region. Today, we're gonna to be viewing two of their floor plans, Residence 3 and Residence 5. Let's go check them out. Okay guys, so the first home we'll be touring today is Residence 3. This home almost sits at 4,400 square feet. It's just under, sitting at 4,392 square feet. It's a five bedroom, five and a half bath, and three car garage. There's also an option for a four car garage. The starting price for this home is $2,058,000, and again, as you can see, this home sits on a one acre lot, surrounded by beautiful trees. Now, not all lots have trees on them, so it definitely comes at a premium to have trees already placed on your lot. Now, let's go ahead and head inside and see what this beautiful home has to offer. As soon as you walk through the front doors, you're greeted by this great big open area, combining the gathering room, the dining room, and the kitchen. An idea setting for hosting parties and getting together with family or friends. This front room is modeled by the builder as a piano room, but ideally most of us would be using it as an office or another dining room. These glass walls are a builder option, but there's also another framed wall option that has French doors that open up. Now there is an option to upgrade the front door to a pivot door to give it a more wow factor upon the entrance, which you can see this pivot door in the next model. Now let's jump into the heart of the home with this beautiful gourmet kitchen. Just check out this amazing island with waterfall countertops. This kitchen is also modeled with double dishwashers, which is another builder option. Other appliances included in your gourmet kitchen are a Thermador range, six burner stove top, and double oven. Right next to this amazing Thermador fridge and wine cooler, you also have a third oven as well as a microwave. Now on the back side of your cooking area, you have a wine bar or coffee bar and this huge walk-in pantry. Now if you don't have a need for a pantry this big, there is an option to cut this room in about two-thirds of the size and make it a wine room. Now, just on the other side of your pantry, you have your valet room, which the builder calls, and it's just another fancy name for your drop-off zone, your mud room, as well as access to your two-car and single-car garage. So this is a pretty decent sized gathering room. It's about 15 and a half by 24 feet. And I love how they modeled it here with the fireplace and to the side of it, the shelves and the cabinets. Now there is a builder upgrade for the fireplace to upgrade it to either a 60 inch or 72 inch fireplace. Okay guys, before we move on with the rest of the tour of this home, if you like what you're seeing so far, make sure to give us a like and hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so that you're notified each and every time that we drop new videos. 
We're licensed realtors in the state of California, and we're your go-to realtors when coming to the Sacramento area. If you're looking to tour this home, make sure to reach out to us as it's required for us to be there on your first visit when touring these homes. So give us a call, shoot us a text at the number below, or even better, schedule a Zoom in the description below so we can hop on a call and talk more about your home journey. Now let's get back to touring this beautiful home. Moving on to the rest of the home, just to the right of your family room, you're gonna have your laundry room and primary suite. As you can see, it's a pretty decent sized laundry room with plenty of cabinetry and storage. The other door over there is actually the entrance from the primary suite, which I'll show you in just a bit when we go to the primary bedroom. Here we are entering the primary suite bedroom. This bedroom in size is about 21 by 14 feet. And as you can see, it has tons of windows. I mean, what I loved about this is it lets in so much natural light. And you'll also notice there's a double-sided fireplace, um, which the other side sits on the primary suite bathroom. There's also a builder option to do French doors out to your backyard, and that would be right here on this wall where you have your console. That's where your French doors would be. So a really good size walk-in primary suite closet. And as I mentioned before, you also have entrance into your laundry room from your primary suite closet. Now let's check out what's left to the gathering room, which is going to be your powder room, three secondary bedrooms, and a game room. This is the first of three secondary bedrooms. This bedroom measures just over 11 by 13 feet. You'll notice every secondary bedroom has its own bathroom. So one thing I really liked about this layout was the placement of the game room, how it sits in the middle of all your secondary bedrooms. So for example, the kids could be in here, you know, playing games, watching a movie, and you could still be in the main area um, watching a movie or entertaining without the noise interference. All of your secondary bedrooms are going to be about the same size as the last one. They're all going to average to be around 12 by 12 feet. Let's head over to the other side of the home, which has a multi-gen living suite. 
as you can see from this aerial, the multi-gen living suite also has its own garage entrance. The multi-gen living is just going to be on the other side of the kitchen here. So each portion of the house, the primary bedroom, the secondary bedrooms, and the multi-gen have good separation are pretty much on their own separate wings of the home. One thing to note in this multi-gen is that there is no option for a range. So if you're looking to cook, you'll have to access the kitchen in the main portion of the home. The options available here are under cabinet refrigerator as well as a microwave you see here. The builder did a really good job with the number of windows throughout the home allowing for a lot of natural light. One thing to note is that this multi-gen also has private access to the backyard. So let's head out there, see what it has to offer and all of the possibilities. These two oversized sliding glass doors that you see on the back of the home are optional. It comes standard with three sliding glass doors on the back. However, either way, it makes your indoor, outdoor, entertaining space seamless. Now I just love this massive covered outdoor room. This measures just over 41 by 12 and a half feet with 12 foot ceilings. So I hope you guys like the tour of Residence 3. And again, just to recap, this home is just under 4,400 square feet, sitting at 4,392 square feet, five bedroom, five and a half bath, three car garage with an optional fourth car garage. And the base price of this home is $2,058,000. Now let's head over to the next model, Residence 5. Welcome to this extremely large single story estate. This home sits at 5,104 square feet. It's a five bedroom, five and a half bath, five car garage. This home is priced from $2,235,000. Let's head inside and take a look at this beautiful home. As soon as you open up the doors to this beautiful home, you immediately notice the view directly to your backyard. So the first room that we have here is gonna be your formal dining room. So the builder options for this room are gonna be cabinets at the back of the room, as well as two wine fridges. Now, as we enter the heart of the home, this gourmet kitchen, you'll see that there's another option for under cabinet lighting. It's just another detail in this home that really makes it stand out. You also have this uh, almost pie-like shaped island. It's really oversized. So if you compare it to the last home, this is actually an upgrade. It comes standard with a rectangular shaped island. The upgrades in this kitchen are gonna be very similar to the last home with the extra dishwasher, the Thermador range, as well as the hood and the Thermador refrigerator with the wine cooler. So in addition to your large seating area at your island, you also have this nook here that has space for a decent sized table. 
So heading to this side of the home, to the right is actually your butler's area where you have an option for a wine fridge below the countertops. And then you have your drop-off zone here or your valet area um, as well as your walk-in pantry. And just to the right of that would be the entrance to your garage. So let's go ahead and check that out as well since we're already on this side of the home. So again, you guys, this is a five bay garage. So what you see here, this is a two car. And as we head over to this other side over here, it's gonna be a three car garage. Now, what I really liked about the um, options in this one were the frosted glass garage doors, which let in a lot of natural light, as well as the windows on the back side over there of the garage that also let in more light. Now, before we continue on with the tour, you guys gotta make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel as it really helps us in continuing to deliver these amazing videos and all the information that you need to help make your decision in your home journey. So make sure to give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, or even better, schedule the Zoom in the description below so we can get on a call and talk about your real estate needs and how we can help you get there. Now let's head back inside and finish touring this beautiful home. Here we are in the main area of the home with your gathering room. Really good size here and with the 13 foot ceilings, it makes it feel even bigger. Lots of natural light again and it flows really well with your kitchen. And again, you're gonna have the option to upgrade your fireplace to either a 60 inch or a 72 inch fireplace. And yes, this is a double sided fireplace because right on the other side of the gathering room is another room which is called the club room. So you do have the option to wall this off and separate these rooms and you can actually turn this club room into a pool room giving you access from outside if you have a pool and there's also an option to add a bathroom to the pool room as well and still maintaining a double sided fireplace. Now let's head over to the other side of the home. So here's that pivot door as you can see that I was mentioning um, in the last home as an option. And here we have your office and again, same options with the glass wall from floor to ceiling or you can do a framed wall with French doors. And just beyond that, um, on this wing of the home, we're gonna start off with your office. And again, you can do uh, the glass doors or a framed wall with uh, a regular door. And as we head down this hallway, we're gonna have three secondary bedrooms and then at the far end is gonna be your next gen living. But let's go ahead and enter into this first secondary bedroom. So really good size here. Um, and one thing to note is that all of the secondary bedrooms have their own bathrooms as well as walk-in closets. You have a lot of natural light that comes into this hallway from these windows that look out to your courtyard. Now this courtyard is just right outside the entrance of the home. Here is your second secondary bedroom that backs right up to the first secondary bedroom and it actually mirrors it to the exact. I mean the builder even went as far as staging it and decorating it the same way as the first secondary bedroom. And right across from there you have your um, third secondary bedroom and again walk-in closet and its own private bathroom. And all of these bedrooms are really decent sizes. They're about 13 by 11 feet with 10 foot ceilings. And here we are at the end of the hallway with your multi-gen living space. Now this multi-gen living space does have its own separate entrance here. And as you can see, it also has its own nook. Um, now in the last model, it was modeled with the cabinets. This is how it comes standard with just the two shelves and the, um, uh, the sink. 
One thing to note about this multi-gen living space from the last one is that it does not have direct access from the garage. Now you would have to park your car into the garage, um, exit through the courtyard, and then come in through your own separate entrance. Let's head back down this hallway to the other side of the home. As you can see, there's pretty good separation between the gathering room, your secondary bedrooms, and your primary suite, which is down this hall. But first up down this hall, we have your laundry room. Um, good sized laundry room here, lots of storage space. You have a utility sink and uh, plenty of cabinets. And right next to your laundry room, you're gonna have your half bath or your powder room. Now here's the entrance to your primary suite. The builder removed the doors obviously for um, touring purposes, but normally, yes, there is a door there. Right here to the left, you're gonna have the hallway to your bathroom. Um, we'll explore this in just a second, but let's go ahead and head over to the primary suite. So here we are in your oversized primary suite that sits uh, almost at 22 feet by 16 feet. So really, really good size. Um, as you can see, lots of windows, big windows that face your backyard, um, letting in a lot of that natural light. And once again, you have the builder option of putting in a fireplace in your primary suite. The other option that you have here in the primary suite is to do French doors here on this back side as you have direct private access to your backyard. Here in your hallway to your bathroom, it does come standard with the lower cabinets, but there is an option to add the upper cabinets as well as a under counter refrigerator. Just love how this primary bath is asymmetrical. When you walk in, you have the tub front and center of your large walk-in shower that is dual sided with two shower heads. And then on each side, you're gonna have his and her vanity. Um, you have a smaller walk-in closet on one end and then a very large walk-in closet on the other. You also have the option for two toilet rooms. If you opted out of the second toilet room, then it would be a linen closet. Check out this cool TV in this mirror here. This is gonna be the largest of the two walk-in closets. The other walk-in closet is about half the size of this one, which is still a really good size walk-in closet. I mean, realistically, it's big enough for two people. I can honestly see the other closet being set up as like a shoe room. Let's head outside and see what the backyard has to offer. You have a very large outdoor space with this covered outdoor room. This room measures 28 by 13 square feet. Again, with an option to add a fireplace on this back wall here. This is an amazing property. There are so many options you can do with a backyard this size. Well, what do you guys think? I hope you guys enjoyed the tours. Let me know in the comments below which one was your favorite model, Residence 3 or Residence 5. Personally, for me and my family, I'm gonna have to go with Residence 5. I love the floor plan in the way that 
my family lives. There's only 89 lots in this community and there is not a whole lot of new construction in Granite Bay, especially not at this level. So if you wanna know more about this community, if there's any financing incentives and what is available, reach out to us, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, however it is that you wanna get a hold of us, we got your back when making the move to the Sacramento region. See you guys in the next video.